This might seem as a perfect example of opening moves for Florence, where in 1521, with most of the North Italy, we have 400 development, 14 ideas and 10 10 10 technologies. But if we take a look at the diplomatic map mode, no, this is not a religious war. This is one, two, three, four, five puny wars that we are defending from. And maybe you have Austria in one of those wars, or maybe you have England in one of those wars, but we are pretty much alone here. We are also about to hit 100k subscribers in the near future. I actually plan to do this before my daughter is born in just two months, so let me speed this up. And this way you can get notified about all the future content coming. Let's see how it looks in game. We have money, okay, why are we not spending it? We have plenty of positive balance. We don't have really much more force limit. Ideas are not that bad and the techs are up to date. If you look at the technology map mode, okay, we are ahead and I think we are one of the, yeah, most of the guys have tech 9, some of them have tech 10 on the military. The issue is, let's see, East Frisian Florentine Punity 4, that's first war that we are fighting on. Here we have England, but I don't think they're gonna help us much. Second war, Palatinate Florentine Punity 4. Here we technically have an advantage. Then it's a war against Memmingen, War against Genoa, I think this one is the biggest one and the hardest. And finally the one against Beirut. <laughs> yeah, this is the hardest for sure. So theoretically if we take each of the wars separately, that should be an easy peasy. But we are fighting with this whole horde of enemies at once. And if I just accept that each of these guys demands, I'll end up with only my cores left. So we don't want to do that. And what I actually want to do to make this run harder is a promise that I'm not gonna lose any of this wars. So at least we'll get a white piece, so at least we'll get one person war score peace deal there. Okay, we need to increase our power projection first of all. So Mr. Maskoy, I'm gonna scornfully insult you to get it to 50, as well as sending you embargo to keep it for a little bit longer. And then we need more armies. So first of all, I'm gonna slacken once, slacken twice, we have left with no army professionals, that's 59,000 manpower. Then we are gonna go and recruit first for independent companies, that's gonna be additional 30,000 of troops, as well as the free companies, so behind 125,000 troops by our selves. But this is not all, because we have only 8,000 of artillery, so I want to build up more manpower artillery to get this number at least to 20,000. Let me gather all the manpower troops in one place because we need to fix our stacks around the combat width. Current combat width is at the level of 25, so that should be something that we should play around. Here, take the artillery out of the stack, then the 25k stack. I'll use Marklo Bearder and the templates to do so. It's gonna be 25. And then when you click here, we can click to conform to template, take 25,000, Take another 25,000 and here we can build up 2,000 troops to also have 25,000. As we are gonna start taking a lot of that. First of all, let me take the one person loans. And second of all, I'm gonna also sell my title. So that's 2,000 of ducats to spend. It's minus 44 already and it's gonna get even higher. Anyway, I'm gonna start using my mercs because there, we can't really waste our manpower. I'll start using the max to go and rush Brescia. My main power stack will stand in Verona. Or even I'm gonna send them to Treviso with these guys in the background. We need to start pushing. And to start pushing and to save our main power at the same time, we do this. Tick. We're gonna wait after mouth tick and start rushing this fort. If we start rushing this fort with shift consolidate, that should be a fairly easy process. It is down and we've lost only 4,000. Merrick's manpower, who cares about that, right? Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. So I'm gonna send the same stack right now, first to Padua, and once they reinforce the Mura, I'm gonna also rush down Treviso. And honestly, let me do that already, let me send them there. So do this, bridge the walls, start rushing the fort, and let's see... Okay, it's using an unfortunately stack that was here first, so the manpower stack. And Austria just got out of the war, so it's gonna get harder. That's why we need a good place where we can defend from the enemies. And a good place to defend from the enemies is gonna be the Treviso province, because if they try crossing here, it's gonna be minus one for the hills and another minus one for crossing the river. Going out of here, Scorch Earth, 
And honestly, okay, we, we have to defend Nitsa. So to defend Nitsa, I'm gonna send those two stacks. Why my Merc stacks to go for Trent? Manpower stacks will go for Nitsa because we need to defend, but at the same time want to rush another fort, which is Trent. Trent is a mountain fort, so it's gonna be also important in our defense line. Simply bridge the walls and start rushing it. It's just 1,000 defenders, so it's gonna be very easy. So just taking advantage of the fact that on this patch it's very easy to rush down the forts. So this is perfect, we have the defense line prepared. And as for the battle over here, I'm gonna attack with my troops with the cannons. So this way when I'm fighting over here, you'll see that I have almost full back row of cannons that are joining here. <laughs> and that's a stack wipe. Stack wipe on this patch is not an easy thing and it's gonna be very important. You can see they are standing in Treviso already and they're trying to siege down mountains here. Can I even access the mountains there? I can. So let me try going there already with this stacks while the Merc stacks are waiting to regain the morale. Let's see Mr. Castile. That's gonna be probably one of the most important... Ah, oh, don't, don't kill my cannons. Martels in this war. Attack with the combat with troops of cannons and reinforcements. Then let's go and reinforce it with one cannon stack. Oh, we might even lose it. But let's 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 be patient. Let's be patient. We have plenty of reserves. Start reinforcing with one stack. This is fine. Start reinforcing with another stack. We really need better leaders, and I think this battle should allow us to achieve that. Yes! That's 7% of the world score. We can keep defending. So let's try fighting with Venetians in Trevisan. I'll attack with my full Merc stack here. Another Merc stack is just waiting to reinforce this battle. Tick, 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 tick. Start going over there. These guys might start coming as well as they might be still needed if I want to win it. But that's another 5% war score for us. To save our manpower a little bit more, I'm gonna take the cannons out of the main stack and then I'm gonna attach these cannons to my Merc stacks. So the Merc stacks will be taking most of the damage in this war. Ah, I did not show the guy, I guess, expansion map mode. This is how it looks like. We're gonna keep fixing it. By the way, with this amount of the troops and the reinforcements cost, we are 83 on negative balance, but this is something that we have to go through if we want to win this war. Now, yay, they siege down the trend fort in just 40 days, but we kind of don't care because I can do this. Get onto the province, it's just 160 defenders, push the walls, rush it, six days and then it's down. Let's go and defend this lands again. Maybe I'll be having even a chance to defend Geneva, but Geneva is gonna be extremely hard. We can get a better general, no? No, what's our army tradition? 14, we're fighting so much. Let's see if we can actually make it happen. Attack, get the reinforcement stack closer, and that might be the biggest battle of today's episode, because there's a lot of enemies, and there's also a lot of my... Here they have a hundred K troops here. Did I scored it? I unfortunately forgot to scorch it. But this is fine. You guys start reinforcing it already. How many reserves I have? I have some. So let me actually start reinforcing with half of the troops. Another half of the troops. Of course, reinforcing on time is not as important on this patch. But it's gonna still give me some advantage over the damp. Oof, so many enemies here already. Over damp AI. That is trying to fight with us with just throwing everything at once. Come on, can you just run out of the troops already? I really need... Yes, thank you so much. I re they've lost so many more troops. I need to go and defend this lands again. I'm again hitting the Diplo points cap. So let me go and develop a little bit. But the promises where it's actually gonna be worth it. For example, in Como. Death just twice. 20 and I can spend my diplo points on reducing war exhaustion because it kind of hurts. I also already ran out of my manpower, which is fine. Let me just recruit one, two, three generals at the same time. You needed a better general and slack in the recruitment to just use for the manpower that you're using right now. I think I have a chance even to wipe this burger and just in needs uh, that was close. Anyway, I'm gonna go and scorch earth over here to make it harder for them to come. And now there needs to be a decision. Do we want to go and kill Papal State? Do we want to kill Venice? Or do we want to fight 100 speed battle of Geneva? And I think I'm not gonna fight anymore in Geneva. Let's just leave it alone because there's so many troops around here. I'm gonna keep my, some of my troops in Torino. 
just in case they want to come over here and scorch it. And I'm gonna go and focus on pushing this and this guy's back. And this is the stupid phoenix that just keep running away anytime and come close to Teresa. And then they come back to siege down again, so they'll never siege it. And I kinda don't care. Oh uh, yeah, Genif is down and they're going straight to Torino. Let me get my main stack there and we need to fight for it. Okay, they're over stacking hard again. That's a chance for us. Let me go there. We get the reinforcements closer. And that should be a really easy battle, especially that we have a 3-6 leader right now. A 3-6 leader is gonna win these battles for us very easily. Let's first focus on fighting with our mercs. Then I'm gonna start I don't even have to reinforce with my manpower troops. These guys are right now in Kunel. Hmm. And just stand over here and wait for the moves. Because they might just go to Nizza. Now Geneva is having a low attitude towards Castile Ragon, etc. etc. Most of actually our enemies. It's a trade war. So I can't take shit over here except a freaking money, which is 180 ducats. I guess that's gonna be enough for us. We had to kill 256,000 troops for that. And we are left with all of these guys to fight against and I think with these guys it should be now only easier. Let me actually send my main stack together with all of the mercs to go and defend Bohemia which is just getting killed but I should get a lot of war score for winning battles there. At the same time the more power stack still still in the middle of Italy defending our borders. I think I've changed my mind looking at this. I need more troops over there. I'm gonna keep 25,000 in Italy and the rest is going to Bohemia. Stack wipe number one in Omlo Molut. Let me... I can't scorch Earth on the lands of my ally. This is fine. Finally, Venice is out of their island. Let's go find in Treviso. Show me what you've got over here. Unfortunately, I'm fighting with my manpower stack. Because this is all that I've left inside my mainland but you can see that's an easy battle and that's free war score for us that's also a lot of manpower loss so let me just consolidate the regiment so paying, paying less for being over the force limit let's see what we can do in the battle of praga the siege of praga is historically 1524 the most important moment of this coalition wars against the florence and the allies you can see they don't even bother to reinforce this battle so that's easy war score and we need to decide where to go next. I'm gonna go and start fighting here in the province of Zurdohori because it's Grasslands province. Let me just wait to reinforce my morale over the Manftik. I guess they don't want to move from Hradecko. That's why I'm gonna help them a little bit by searching down the provinces around. And still want to spend points to... Yeah, let's just rush. It's Dresden. So it's actually an easy province to go and get some free war score. Especially that I'm just losing manpower of my mercs, so it didn't really matter. Thank you so much. Let's go and try fighting the guys around Trentin, because that's where they're going. So if you don't remember how to move your troops from province to province, for example, I wanted to go Trentin, I would go this way. But I don't want to go this way. If I want to just go here, then here, 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 and here, just hold shift. And you can just decide province by province how your troops are gonna go there. <laughs> I thought Bohemia is our ally, but it's actually our junior personal union partner. That's why I have all of this coalition. Because we got a PU over Bohemia. I think this guy's really frozen in Hradecko. They just can't move. I, I think I'm just gonna attack them. It's gonna be no crossing from Horlets. And on minus one battle, I can fight. Let's start reinforcing this battle. That should be an easy one. We should also lose that much of empire because it's being mainly tanked by our mercs. And that's gonna be plenty of war score for us in this war. Thank you so much, they've lost 25,000 troops. <sighs> we are just getting started. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a stack wipe in Praha? Oh, ho, 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 yes. Hello there. It was a very great idea, guys, to go and try sieging them Bohemia. I think I just provoked Burgundy becoming an emperor. I stuck my burgundy and just after that they became an emperor. We need to spend our diplo points because other points, you know, I can just spend on the religious ideas, that's trade efficiency and a missionary. I have nothing to convert, but I guess I'm gonna keep the decision of the player. And I'm gonna dev with my diplo points. Uh, yeah, 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 those are not the best promises to develop. Maybe we should... How about something from this state? Because uh, I can see Parma, for example. Parma is lacking one death click to get to 20. I'm just gonna go and develop Milano 
three times just for higher income. I'm losing plenty of money for being over my force limit. This is why, as the free company is already out of manpower, the lead them are ready to start saving money. This way, why being only 20 above my force limit, I'm losing 30 ducats monthly. I think East Frisia is done with us. How many of the troops we've killed? 179. Thousand. I also want as much money as gonna accept 11 war score peace deal is fine for us Then we need to wait for the others to also peace out Remember we want as long truce as possible when we are peacing out To let the Argus expansion go down And actually about that I should change my advice for Diplo from the trade efficiency guy to improve relations game. Also go and get diplomacy to get in improve relations with the outreach countries. So to also help to make those guys not join the coalition. I will start with getting out of the war with Memingwing because it doesn't make any sense to stay in such a small war and waste the time. Why they have just some level 140 in the capital, right? Why I should waste any of my time on this. Thank you so much. That's actually 39% of the war score that we are having here. And we should just win more battles. Mr. Beirut, give me your whole money. War reparations. And I'm gonna force religion on you because I can as well just break some relations for prestige for us to keep it high. Thank you so much. Bye bye bye. And we are left with only two wars inside the HRE. By the way, I should keep improving my relations with Austria and France to regain my alliances with them. I think wiping one by one the HRE guys is just gonna be easy, especially that I also just called the capital of the Palatinate. So, of course, I got excommunicated again. That shouldn't. Add. I've lost excommunicated. Yes, I've. <sighs> I thought I got excommunicated again. I was improving my relations with Pope to actually prevent that from happening. Okay, we need to peace out out of the both wars because we won everything. In this war is 47,000 that they've lost. So if we just go, take the same war reparations, full money, and that's it. Why? From this war is 46,000 that we've killed, and it's gonna be again war reparations. Full money, forced religion, and as much money as they're gonna accept. Thank you so much. Now the aggressive expansion impact is still bad, guys. But at least now we have truces with these guys. Then we need to delete the independent company, get our troops back and start reorganizing them. And I think if I just decrease the war exhaustion twice, and with these guys, I'll be just stopping the rebels from happening. We'll be having no honors in the country. So this will drop down and we'll be able to start to pay in the loans. In the meantime, I can already turn off my forts. So the balance will be positive in a second. And now I got the military reform. Couldn't I get it earlier? Let me just go from fully military one. Uh, Re-ally France. I will also re-ally Austria. And now I think we are very safe. We just have all further relations limit. But that's because we like to Austria, we like to France, we like to England, and Bohemians are pursuing us. I'll just start building Spain and on Venice and Genoa, because before I end this campaign, I want to clear the borders in the northern Italy. And I'll start annexing Padua to also fix my borders here, we just don't have the ability right yet. Get additional rivals, which is gonna be Burgundy. And that might allow us not yet to get our power projection higher, because what I can do, I can just start Embargo number one and embargo on Burgundy in Spain. We have to wait until our truce ends. I actually noticed that instead of collecting in Venice, we are transferring from Valencia and Ragusa. I don't think Ragusa is gonna be more worth than Venice, so we just start collecting in Venice. While at the same time, I'm gonna improve the trade center in Mantua to make it even more worth it. So let's see. Our trading going right now 17.96. After the month tick is 19.8. So that's a great increase, and I'll be slowly repaying our loans. I'm taking any opportunity to decrease our economy in the provinces to keep it very low and keep increasing our income. Finally, there goes a level 1 advisor for the improved relations and I will keep him level 1 because we have a lot of power points on the deep law and we need to save money to repay the loans. There goes annexation of Padua, getting the borders clearer and we got a guy that might be of use in the future, for example against Venice. Even though I have 14 loans, it's either 2.5% or 1%. It's just task and gameplay, 2.5% interest, so that's just 5 interest for 3000 of that. But anyway, I want to pay off most of this debt. Player chose the parliament, that's why you don't have the ability. So let me start the debate at what we can choose over 
here. I think the most interesting one is gonna be another Pintera Speranum bonus. So increase the burger's influence, pay some diplo points, and this way the loans are not on 2.5%, they are on 2.25% instead, and our inflation is dropping pretty quickly. Also, on the 110 tickets, I'm just gonna spend it on something more important, like for example a manpower building, then I'm gonna accept it, of course, but nothing happens. Just take a look at this economy. Taxation, production and trade, it's perfectly balanced. This whole thing should be. Whoa, re-election costs us 28 Republican tradition. What government we have? Signora? Why would you do Signora but you can just go for the noble lead and have 8 years, 7 years duration instead of freaking 11? Let me just change it. And that's gonna be just 18 Republican tradition that we are losing instead. So it's 51, so it's still fine and we're keeping the guy that is 366. See the truce with the coalition ended and nobody can join it. Easy, easy. Ah, <laughs> why I re-elected the guy if he dies just a few months later? That was probably a terrible idea considering he was 61 years old, so that's on me. I'm just gonna wait two months because two, for two months, even though he, he died, He's still there, by the way, look at this team. Grand Consul Eustachio Pimpion Bante Jankowski Zlazimi. Yeah, I guess they couldn't get a longer name over there. Anyway, I will go for the bureaucratic candidate, so at the admin bonus. And we have social mobility, which is advisor cost. Architectural development does that. 300 power points for 250 ducats, of course I'm gonna take it. From the Holy See, I'm definitely gonna take the real Republican tradition and improve relations. Isn't that a perfect combination? Wait a second. Why is Genoa Sunni? I was like having a Pikachu face. Why? I don't have alliance with France anymore. And then it turned out they got the ass kicked by Spain. So they broke our alliance. Well, this is the last non one person loan that I'm repaying. So now I can focus on investments. That's a hyper Tortascani. No, the yellow promises are not 10 development. Those are the 20 developments. So if I just go and start doing the Piemont provinces, you'll see. 1, 2, 3, that's 20. Tick, 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 that's 20. Tick, 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 that's 20. So now I believe every province that we have in our country has at least 20 development. I also have lost my alliance with England. But this is even more silly. They're under pursuing you with Portugal. Ah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. They are fighting the succession war between France. Oh my god, it's gonna be under Portugal. This is England, Portugal, and Spain versus poor France. Finally, there goes the Rasoyus idea. That's the Wuz Casus Belly. That's cultural conversion cost. 25% manpower, 5% discipline, and finally. 10% morale of armies. Let's just use the moment that we finish ideas and we have insane bonuses to attack Papal State because it's the last thing that we want to do today is to form Italy. But we can't do that if there is good relations modifier. So we just go and send an insult of them, a scone for insult, or just an, in just an insult, and declare the war that's not gonna be an easy one because they're gonna be protected by Spain. But Spain is busy kicking the ass of France. Ah, what a perfect timing for National Bank. Let's take... Reduce the inflation, add me mana, this would probably stop it if I didn't have st free already. Ducats and here inflation reduction. By the way, no, France is not getting the ass kicked that much because I'm coming to Spain supporting them in this war. They just received Burgos from France, so I'm just gonna go and rush it back. This is the, the biggest mistake AI keeps doing in every single time. Let's go and take to lead now. And I have plenty of manpower because I'm deving. So what I'm gonna do, tick. Let's get maybe speed 4. And then it's gonna be shift consolidating the troops to make the siege faster. How about we also come with another stack to support them because it might be an over. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 I went a little bit too aggressively here. 700 defenders. That was close. At least these guys are not trying to engage with me. Once I regain my morale of the stacks, the Council of Trent ah, doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna just choose in the Council of Trent to be conciliatory to get the bonus to improve relations. And as for Toledo, let's maybe try again rushing it back. So it's gonna be a very easy. Thank you so much. Now, Mr. Spain. You know, I remember what you did to me, so what I want, I want 
War operations and I won't maybe the humiliate I can't afford it and that's much more like, oh yes 1000 bye 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 then from the papal state itself I obviously want Rome that's not that much of a guess expansion maybe it would be no then and that's also not that much of a expansion I want Urbina because it's a trade center then we want war operations and full money Bye bye bye, thank you so much, let's start coring these provinces and as for the money that I just got, I'm gonna repay all of my debt and the rest is gonna be invested into I don't know what yet. Anyway, I need to start improving operations with Pop right away because otherwise they might excommunicate me at any moment. With Roma Court, first of all I'm gonna form Tuscany, uh, I don't really like this color, so let's go and form Italy itself. There we go, let's embrace their ideas. Color is also not the best, especially that we have Ottomans next by, but that gave us better ideas. So that's 50% improved relations for defense, global trade power, stab cost, infantry compatibility, galley cost, galley compatibility, 33% manpower, tax meta, prestige, co creation cost. So these ideas are definitely better for single player. Arguably, I would say that Tuscan ideas are better for multiplayer, but this is not a multiplayer. So this is very great, and we have also a new mission tree, so what's there? A death cost mission, which we don't want yet. I also have lost occupation for all modifiers, so I don't have minuses to keep for keeping Rome and claims for whole Italian region, as well as uniting all of the catches from Italians. So at the very end, what do I want to do at last is to go and conquer at least one trade center from Venice. What I want to try doing is to win actually on the fleet with the Venice. So I'm gonna start improving some of my ships before we start the war, just to make sure that we can actually win that, because it's gonna be a key to get to the capital. Call all chain to it so it will be just an easy mode and start conquering everything. Okay, Mr. Reigns, I want these three provinces. That's a lot of, I guess, expansion, but these nations don't really matter when we talk about the guess, expansion. Let's just do this. You can see blah, blah, blah. Does it matter? I think at this point there's no need to continue this campaign. We've played only 22 years. That's almost nothing. But we got all of our major goals. One at the very start, just to survive and win all of the coalition wars. Then we expanded, formed Italy, increased our economy to exactly 100, forced me to 120, and total manpower to 135. So we pretty much have only how much? 27 provinces. And these 27 provinces is 700. No, it's not 700. 590 for development. So guys, I think that's gonna be all for today. If you enjoy this type of content, so saving your rent campaigns, remember to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel to get notified about the future ones. Or if you want to send me a ruined campaign in the pinned comment, have a description. Thank you so much and see you soon.